Here's today's first word, daily devotion. It's February the 3rd as we come to our reading today, and there are so many rich truths for us to point out. We're continuing the story of Moses, and of course we're going to see uh, that story continue as well as we get to go over into Matthew chapter 18 and learn how to handle conflicts with one another, as well as we get to conclude with this wonderful reading in Psalm 31. So let's go ahead and start so that we can just point out some details that hopefully will uh, enrich our reading time together as we consider the word of the Lord. Look at how the Bible starts in chapter 10, Exodus chapter 10, for our February the 3rd reading today. Go in to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart. And so here we have to deal with this reality. We see this interplay. We're looking through a glass dimly. We're seeing Pharaoh hardening his own heart as well as the Lord hardening the heart of Pharaoh. And uh, of course, God hardens his heart so that, pay attention to the language, I may show these signs of mine among them and that you may tell in the hearing of your son and your grandsons how I have dealt harshly with the Egyptians and what signs I have done among them so that you may know that I am the Lord. And so why is God doing all that he's doing? Well, he's doing it so that we will know that he is the Lord. And we see this happening to Pharaoh. It's like everyone in the house of Pharaoh knows that he should have, uh, he should let the people go. Look at verse seven, Pharaoh's servants said to him, uh, do you not yet understand that Egypt is ruined? And then pay attention here, uh, verse 19, the Lord turned the wind into a very strong west wind, lifted the locusts and drove them out into the Red Sea. Not a single locust was left in all the country of Egypt. There again to highlight who is in charge here. And then verse 20, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and he did not let the people of Israel go. And then point out too for you, just as we're reading verse 22, as well as in verse 23, notice that we have three days mentioned. That's uh, uh, several times, as soon as I, as many times as I see the reference to three days, I'm going to point it out just again because of the biblical significance of three days. And then verse 27, the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and he would not let them go. But look at how the Bible closes our reading in Exodus in verse 10 here. Verse 10 here of chapter 11, Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and he did not let the people of Israel go out of his hand. But look at what happens before that. Then the Lord said to Moses at verse 9, Pharaoh will not listen to you that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. Again, why is God multiplying those wonders so that we may know that he is the Lord? And here's what we need to know. Even the hardest of hearts and cruelest of intentions are no match for God. Now, pay attention to, as we're reading, we get to turn our attention to uh, Matthew chapter 18, and we get to see how to deal with conflicts with one another, and that is outlined for us. Uh, and then we have, right after this conflict, how to deal with conflicts, we have the Lord saying, how often will we forgive? Look at verse 21, Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I did not say to you seven times, but 70 times. Now, let's do ourselves the diligence of paying attention to the context. We oftentimes take Matthew chapter 18 and we just look at how to deal with conflicts. And we should learn how to deal with conflicts, but what else should we see? The context of dealing with conflicts is in forgiveness. And then to close, uh, the importance of understanding how, it, how important forgiveness is, look at how the Lord puts things rather clearly in verse 35. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you. If you do not forgive your brother, from where? Well, from your heart. And let's close our reading today by looking at Psalm 31. One out a few verses for you, it's all very good. But uh, let's just close our time since our time is short. Let's just read together Psalm uh, 31, verse 21, 22, 23, and 24. Let's just read this together. Blessed be the Lord 
for he has shown, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me. When I was in a besieged city, I had said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight. But you heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried to you for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord.